Jesus. It's so popular, though, in Chico that it's called Chico Ween in some areas. Action News Now reporter Esteban Reynoso spoke with people about how different this Halloween was compared to other Halloweens in the past. A normal Halloween would be kids and adults alike dressing up, going door to door, asking for candy. But because of the pandemic, a lot of people in Chico didn't get to hear that trick or treat. It was definitely smaller than what it usually is. No, it was quiet. We live in a residential neighborhood. Normally, we have trick or treaters, you know, that, that come. And, and this year, there were a few. I thought we would see more kids. It was like kind of mellow, but still loud. Um, not too many people there, which is really nice. College, so I feel like, you know, people are going to party no matter what. Chico police had a task force to crack down on large gatherings and parties for Halloween, and people saw their heavy presence. It was like every street we went onto, there was a there's an officer and a lot more cops out to try to like keep it, you know, keep it contained or at least keep it 10 to 15 or whatever it was. We spoke to Chico PD on Halloween and asked if they saw any differences this year compared to last year. What I do know is that night one was significantly slower than we're accustomed to in Chico. It does appear that the night was pretty, was significantly slower than we're accustomed, accustomed to in Chico. We all know that Chico's uh, famous for having some pretty interesting Halloweens. It was definitely different, like, party atmosphere here. Like I said, it was still quite a bit of people, but not too much. Police attribute less parties to another effect of the pandemic, less college students. In Chico Esteban Reno, so for Action News Now coverage, you can count on. Definitely fewer students out there. Esteban, thank you for that report. Chico Police is set to release its full Halloween crackdown report sometime this week.